Yo, what's good, y'all? Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a data save script, like, a, like how to make like a data store and how it like saves like the a value for each player. For this video, we're gonna be using cash value. If you guys haven't watched my tutorial already on how to set up a leaderboard with cash value, then you guys should definitely go watch that. It'll be linked at like the end of the video, so you can go watch that. So if you have watched it, then you'll know how to do this. You already know how to do like the part of this. All right, so, so first what you want to do is you want to go over to server script service, then you want to insert a script, delete print to help, hello world, and then just like, just like in that one, you guys want to do game, that player, that player added, connect, function, parentheses, and then player stuff. So, because we want this function to run when players join, and then player is the play, basically the player that joins. Then we want to click enter. And then we want to create our we want to create our leader stats slash leaderboard. So we want to make a variable local leader stats equals instance dot new bool value and player as we want. Then new instance to be a bool value, then we want the, the data basically inside of it to display the player's names. And then we just gotta name it real quick. Leader stats dot name equals leader stats. By the way, for some of the stuff on here, it will not autofill. Do not panic if it doesn't autofill. Just copy it as I'm as I'm typing it. Some of it will not autofill. No, you guys don't have to worry. Then we're gonna make another variable, local cache equals instance dot new, and we're gonna do an int value this time. Comma and then leader stats as we want this to be a value in the leader stats. Enter again, cache dot name equals cache. Then we gotta set the value, the starting value basically. So the value is zero. So we have our leader stats set up along with cash. Now we need to create a data store. So I'm gonna skip two lines. We're gonna do local data store. We're gonna create a variable local data store. Equals game get service. Data store service colon. Then we're gonna do get data store parentheses quotation marks save cache as we're getting a data store to as we're basically you could say making a data store to save cache then that's our variable data store click enter local key this is you can kind of consider this the identifier for each player which identifies which player has whatever amount of data and data for who it belongs to basically and then we do equals player dot user id that's how the game identifies it goes based off the player id and the user id because every every player's user id is, is different so that's how it keeps track then make a, one last variable local data equals data store get a sync my bad get a sync parentheses key as you as you want the data store to get the key basically as in get the data of that certain player and then now now we want to add it so it actually loads that player's data when they join because keep in mind everything we're typing right now is still under this this function of when the player joins so we want to do if make an if statement if data then cache dot value equals data. Basically, basically, it's going to set the player's cache value when they join to whatever their data is, which is going to start look in the data store and then you get the key, the user ID for whatever player that is. It's going to search it up. Basically, and then it'll add that cache, whatever value is there. So then we're done with this function. We're done with all this. We want to make it so the game saves data when the player leaves, so that it'll be there when they come back. So you guys want to make another function: game dot players dot player removing connect function then player, and then enter. And then you guys want to make a variable local key. It's just like the one above local key player dot user id then you want to click enter and then 
you got what you guys want to do is you know, what you guys want to do is data you want to get data store because remember guys it's not going to autofill don't worry you want what you guys want to do is data store instead of get async you want to do set async oh my bad, my bad guys here you guys want to do set async as you guys can see it's like right here but it's just different set async then parentheses and then you guys want to put key player then dot leader stats dot cache dot value as basically it's saving this to the dead data store it's saving it to that certain key your user id basically for that player and then it's looking to leaders that to the cache and the value of your cache and stuff and don't worry if this is if this is ready to show like an error or whatever don't worry the script is still going to work perfectly fine but yeah we have our script and then let's go ahead and test as you guys yep as you guys can see as you can see right here if you're wondering why i have 10 caches because uh, i was playing around with it and i gave myself 10 cash but yeah as you can see we have cash and then it shows in the show it's saved because here if i was to do open the developer console then do um server then do game dot players dot spicing team dot leaders that you guys can test this uh on your own too if you guys want equals 15 basically changing my cache to 15 and i click stopped keep play get back to the game as you can see it would not save on this on like the server side and that's because you're changing it like kind of like i don't know i don't even know the best way to explain it but like it's because you're like changing it like on the server side and it's like fully taking place but yeah as you guys can see that is how you set up that's how you set up a data store that's how you set it, set it up to where it can save like money and stuff but yeah it should have saved and stuff but the problem is, is i think it like kind of override it or whatever and stuff but uh yeah it will work perfectly fine for you guys it was just because i was playing around with it but yeah that's how you make a data store uh yeah this was helpful drop a like in the video as always if you guys need any help just uh leave a comment down below in the comments and i will reply yeah uh yeah i'll see you